Fourteen Nagal and Legislative Assembly session Kundu Jamu in Ade Takishi, do the MLA's Kunuba Pra Assembly the statement Diaopor, public or Kunuba organizations pra condemn Korea, or criticize Korea Bishi di Kipashi. The Doopor, Aji Hornbill TV pra NLA speaker Sharing and Lonkomurge, Kota Korea Homoi, speaker pra Kushiki, Assembly the MLA's Kangi Kota Quado, mindful Hobole Hotai, Yard Kriakin to so Manu Galti Hoje. It do me day to bar MLA's. Kanbi Tai Khan Laga Galti Pra Hikishi Kugina Biswasa Sikushi. Tai Kushi Kai Bole Laga Dinde and Parliamentary Statements Kando Hata Bole Kurbo. Speaker Pai to Mam Lai Klan Uigina Alakala Kota Kushi. I will to Laga Dita Sabo. All right. Thank you for sparing your time for Hornbill TV, sir. So we have the Speaker of the Nagaland Legislative Assembly. This time, the fact that the NLA the assembly is an oppositionless government sir and just few uh, days ago weeks ago we had the session again sir so how is it like sir do you think some questions or some part of uh, the problems being put forward is being subjugated because it is an oppositionless government sir um i think uh, the last session uh, the last house also towards the end of the tenure we had a um, opposition-less government and uh, even in this new house uh, the 14 August house uh, we are having a opposition-less government now it is the uh, prerogative and the wish of the honorable members if they want to come come together uh, to form a unified front uh, to raise a pertinent uh, and the long-drawn Naga political issue then it is on the honorable members. As the Speaker of the House, I am to conduct the proceedings of the House. So, um, how it undermines uh, parliamentary democracy, I don't think there is any points to it. The last session, we had a wonderful, productive session. Um, you may be uh, pleased to note that in the last uh, 13 House, we had uh, 14 point, um, 75% of uh, members in a house of 60, which comes around to roughly 26 members who were between the age of um, 65 to 86 years. In this uh, 14th house, that percentage have increased to 17.35% uh, most probably, and uh, 26 members, so now it has become 29 new members, where they are majorly between the age of 40 to 55. So we are seeing a transition. And all the honorable members, um, especially the, uh, the fresh ones, the first timers that are coming into the house, uh, they are coming with a lot of experience from the grassroots and in the constituency per se, respectively. So they are um, participating in the discussions and uh, in the questionnaire also. And so the house is not affected in any way. The business is proceeding as it should be. You being the speaker of the assembly, sir, we had we saw uh, quite an uproar when it comes to two uh, members. The previous session, sir, one is uh, C L John and the other is Azo Ninu. Uh, one was in Woka, and I think oh, Azo uh, Ninu was regarding the cookie issue also, sir. What would you say on that, sir? Is that very uh, common, or what would you say, sir? Well, um, as honorable members, um, all of us, uh, we are encouraged, we encourage one another to be mindful of the, of the words we say, of the things we say, of the statements we make. Um, but having said that, uh, in the well of the house, sometimes, many a times, since the honorable members are coming from respective constituencies, and the issues that they are raising and are under discussion are so pertinent to the people that the emotions and sentiments also uh, get entwined in the discussion. And so uh, to err is human. So we do make mistakes. As the speaker, it is my prerogative that uh, such unparliamentary uh, statements are expunged from the proceedings for public consumption. And so what I have to do, I do it. 
So it's very unfortunate that um, uh, such a situation uh, unfolded. Very, very uh, um, unfortunate. I hope that uh, honorable members have learned from the process and we become more mindful in the future. So how about the urban local bodies, sir? A committee has been formed to discuss or to put forward the municipal act, sir. So when can we expect this act coming into its full form, sir? In the last uh, assembly session, uh, the government uh, made the desire to introduce the municipal bill. And the bill was introduced. All the honor honorable members participated in the discussion because it, uh, uh, the concern of the civil society on the uh, certain provisions of the Municipal Act of 2001 and the amendments thereafter was uh, objected. And so in that regard, uh, a lot of discussions was had. And so the House decided that it should be uh, referred to a select committee of the Assembly, which is headed by um, uh, Honorable uh, Deputy Chief Minister and Parliamentary Affairs Minister. And so uh, they are um, having a round of discussions, I believe. I was away for uh, almost three weeks, so uh, I'm trying to update myself on the uh, process that have been established. So hopefully, when the select committee comes back with the findings, then uh, uh, I think the House will be ready to reintroduce the bill for passing and adoption. All right, so lastly, um, 43 TAPI AC by polls is going to be conducted on November the 7th, sir. And so far, NDPP and Congress have already filed their candidates. You being a member of NDPP BGP Alliance Party, are you confident in your party winning this time? Sir? As, as um, a Speaker of the House, um, I would welcome any of the honorable members uh, who win the 43 uh, Tapi Assembly constituency. It would be a good addition to the House. Um, as an honorable member before becoming Speaker, I was affiliated to NDPP party. So I give my moral support to the party. So may the best party win, may the best men win. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you Thank so you much. So much yeah.